Okay, so for this practice, what I would like you to do is please go get a colored pencil. Um, this is a, a practice that I believe that you should practice every year, so you probably will see this multiple times over the next few years, because practice does make perfect, or it does at least make better, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be drawing um, the different things that we're gonna see here, but there's a certain process that, that I like to kind of go through. Um, I like to break things down now. I'm gonna quickly fix this. I forgot to fix it before I handed it out. Okay, so the way I go about drawing, okay, is I kind of go through this process. I imagine things being mapped out, contour lines, cleaning it up, then adding my detail and shading, okay? A lot of times what happens is people just go to the end result, like the end, and they forget this this first part, okay? And this first part actually makes things more realistic when they're drawing, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda go through this, all right? So I'm gonna work on this first one. So mapping out, kinda like when you're looking at here, okay? So a map is kinda like a guide, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a guide using shapes and lines so we know where we need to place stuff, okay? So if I kinda look at this, I'm gonna pretend like pretend that I can put in certain shapes. Okay, so I'm gonna pretend that I can actually put in a rectangle on here, okay? And on the top, I can almost see like a huge oval, okay? That's all I'm gonna put there, okay? Because I, I know I have some overlap and it's fine. I don't need to go crazy on this one. So each one, same thing. What basic shapes can you stick in here? I got two circles, and I think I got like a rectangle on here, and a line. Go ahead and do the head and the chair. Now these are two a little bit more challenging, but it's okay. All right, and by the way, if I ever go too fast in any of the videos, just pause, and I'm not gonna go anywhere. And then when you're ready, start me back up again. Okay, so we're putting these lines and these shapes in. Okay, and what are they gonna do? They're gonna help us define where things are. So here we go. This one takes up a good chunk of this, this box. So we're gonna now go in this next one and we're gonna do the define the contours. Now contours are the outside lines. So I'm gonna lightly, very, very lightly, because if you want to be able to erase this layer, you gotta draw lightly. So my oval is on top. It's a little bit bigger. Doesn't look like much, does it? Not yet, it will, okay? So I want you to go through and I want you to do all of them. Remember, draw lightly. And I'm gonna let you do those last two. All right, so hopefully you have probably paused it and finished those two, okay? Now, contour lines are the important extra lines, okay? So I'm gonna look through, and these are the outside lines. I can see that this is gonna go down and around. And what I'm doing is I created almost like a skeleton to go around to help me guide this, okay? Same thing with this. Not everything is going to be drawn the line exactly next to it, okay? but it's gonna come close, all right? So this one comes up and around. There you go, actually that one's shorter, okay? I want you to do the, the head. Now what are important lines and what are not important lines? Okay, so um, on the chair, your edge lines are important. Individual hair lines in his hair, not so important just yet, okay? Now I'm gonna go and clean up some of these edge lines right here. All right, the next stage is the cleanup. This is where, remember I said don't draw too dark? All right, so that's when you're going up and you're cleaning up some of these lines. You don't need all here, okay? So we clean up, we do the race. Details, all right, details may come in the line that's down the leaf, okay? Details might be the, the stippling the dots, excuse me. Um, it might be in the shading that 
you got going on. Alright. You like, boy, that's that's pretty good. Oh, you know what? This actually goes in a little bit. Here we are. Okay. So that's where that comes from. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to take one of these. Okay, and you could do two of them if you feel like you need a little extra practice, okay? And I want you to fill them out, okay? Finish it so it's a finished drawing, all right? Because the next one, you got it. That cute little turtle is going to get drawn. All right, so we now know our four different stages. We have mapping out, defined contour, cleaning it up, details, and shading or coloring, okay? Now, one of the things that we look at, okay, I'm going to grab this. I tend to use this as a great example, okay? I can't obviously draw on objects, okay? Or if I'm drawing from the internet, I can't quite draw on it, okay? So we got to imagine and we got to place. So for example, if I was trying to draw this, I would imagine a circle and a triangle. So I'd put that down and then I'd go through all the steps. Same thing here. We're not going to draw on this, but you're going to be placing it. So, let's see. What can I imagine? I can imagine an oval here, an oval here, oval here, and an oval here. This looks like a triangle to me. So I'm going to put that in. I don't know. This one's kind of hard. It looks like he's pushing his tushy up. So kind of like a rectangle. Okay, with a little bit of a rectangle there. Okay, and the bottom looks like straight and up. So, what I would like you to do, start from the mapping it out, then go and do your contour lines. Go in and add the details, okay? You will get a better realistic shape if you take one step at a time and just slow it down. Okay. Um, then clean it up and then add some details, add some shading, okay? For this, you probably don't need a lot of uh, color in it, but shading will definitely help, all right? So once you're finished with this, this assignment is done.